Hola people, I welcome you all to my channel, Life Science Fantastic. If you guys are watching me for the first time, then hola, I'm Mr. Steve Bach and I request you all to watch my introduction video so that you'll get an idea about this channel. Well, in my previous video, I actually gave a quick introduction to the two major options you can opt for after your BSc in any life science subject. And I guess this is the correct time to discuss the first major option that is MSc in detail. Well, yesterday I was going through YouTube and I found a lot of videos about MSc in biotechnology and not a single video on MSc in genetics. <laughs> I mean, genetics is so popular nowadays and still there's not a single video. So here I am to answer all your questions about MSc in medical genetics or MSc in genetics or MSc in human genetics. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hey, actually, before moving forward, I would like to inform you all that I myself have a degree in medical genetics. I mean, I have done my MSc in medical genetics so uh, i know what questions bsc students or bsc past students have in their mind and i would like to answer them all so here are the questions and here is the solution for the questions so the first question i would like to answer is what exactly is msc in genetics <laughs> so it is a specialized postgraduate course for students who are interested to study genetics so masters in genetics is all about studies on living organisms down to their genetic level. <laughs> if I talk about the duration of the course, then MSc Genetics or Masters in Genetics is a two-year postgraduate course available in maximum colleges or universities of India. Now, if we move on to the eligibility criteria, I mean who all are eligible to opt for MSc Genetics, then answer to that, that question is you just need a BSc degree in life science subject. I mean any life science subject like biochemistry, molecular biology, biotechnology, then life science or um, microbiology etc. But you need minimum 55 to 60 percentage in your BSc. That's the eligibility criteria. If we move further and talk about the admission process then maximum colleges in India have direct or merit-based admissions but there are some colleges or universities which will conduct their own entrance exams entrance exams like JNUEE or BITSAT that is B-I-T-S-A-T or BHU PET that is BHU PET or etc so you have to and uh, qualify these entrance exams to get admitted into MSc genetics or MSc medical genetics or human genetics type courses <laughs> the next point I would like to cover is the syllabus of the course the syllabus of the course includes subjects like um, uh, molecular biology, cell biology, plant genetics, animal genetics, then recombinant DNA technology, principles of genetics, then clinical genetics, then immunology, uh, then etc. etc. Basically, this course is divided into four semesters. Uh, these subjects will be divided into four semesters plus the last semester, that is the fourth semester, will have a project work, that is your thesis work. And here I would like to mention something uh, that uh, uh, you can actually opt for MSc in genetics or MSc in medical genetics or MSc in human genetics. So um, there's only a slight difference. Basically, the medical genetics and the human genetics will have a medical perspective or will totally be about human genetics or uh, uh, not other like the plant genetics won't be involved in those courses. So you have to choose wisely whether which uh, genetics course you would like to go for. So the next major question which each and every student will have is the colleges offering this course. So here's a list for you guys. The colleges offering MSc genetics courses are Vellore well Institute of Technology Vellore, well Calcutta University Calcutta, MGM School of Biomedical Sciences Navi Mumbai, Manipal School of Life Sciences Manipal, MD Rohtak, Gujarat University Gujarat and many more. The most important and the last point which I would like to share with you all is the future scope. I mean what kind of a job you might get after getting a degree in MSc Genetics. 
so you actually have you can get a, uh, a job in uh, wet lab or you can get a job in dry lab if i focus on the dry lab first then i would like to suggest you all i mean if you want to stick to genetics then i would like to suggest you all to get yourself enrolled into genetic counseling course uh, so that will help you and make you a certified genetic counselor so that actually has a very high demand nowadays so and the salary ranges from for this particular job is uh, the salary ranges from approximately four to five lakhs per annum and now if i move to uh, the wet lab so the wet lab actually focuses on the practical things like uh, the uh, it will enhance your practical knowledge or skills like molecular techniques or genetic techniques, uh, the fish or uh, karyotyping or molecular techniques like sequencing, etc. So basically, this in this uh, part you have to work uh, in lab, and uh, the positions you might get offered are biologist or uh, research scientist or uh, geneticist, etc. So the salary, the starting salary for these positions is. Uh, 3 lakh to 4 lakh per annum and this is just a starting number if you actually get good uh, experience in this and good uh, uh, you develop your skills then definitely you'll get a hike in your salary um, i guess that's it for today guys so i hope you like the video and in my next video i'll be talking about msc in bioinformatics uh, or msc in virology uh, most probably i'll be covering both the subjects so uh, yeah, stay tuned for that and all the very best to you all for uh, selecting a good option uh, in MSc. Uh, so yeah, bye-bye guys, toodles!